You guys really want to see a video of me trying to burn rotten pumpkins? You ever drink cream straight from the bottle? Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Tonight on the show, I'm going to teach you how to make chicken pee pee. Also known as chicken pot pie. This was requested multiple times, multiple ways from our boy Zyrog. And I bet you there's other people who requested it too. But my memory isn't what it used to be. And I never was good in the first place. So here's a list of those people, maybe. But hey, it's a request episode. When's the last time we did one of those? It's been a while. Okay, so uh, one thing to note in particular, Zyrog requested that we roast an entire chicken and then use that chicken to make the pie. I I didn't want to do that and so I was like I'm just gonna use a rotisserie chicken and the store didn't have any rotisserie chickens so instead we're using one chicken boob that's it so you know you got you're gonna get your chicken pee pee it's just not gonna be like the pee pee that you you really wanted kombucha cocktails this is pink lady apple did you know that there's alcohol in kombucha just a little bit liquor before mixer is the apple shits Tastes pretty good. Sometimes it tastes like apples, sometimes it tastes like bad apples. This was the first step, by the way, to, to make a drink. Okay, so let's preheat that oven. You could do 400 or 425. We're gonna do 400. We got pre made pie crusts. There they are. If you're using like frozen ones, you gotta thaw them. These are ready to bake. So I am gonna actually chop a, a vegetable, but you could forego the step by simply using frozen vegetables that include onions. But I think uh, if I don't chop something, I don't feel like I'm cooking. So I'm, I'm gonna chop this up. Actually, I'm gonna use half of this onion. Yellow onion. So, um, did you know, did you know that all the letters in the word onion can be found in the phrase? <sighs> all right. I got some butter here. This is five tablespoons of butter, a little bit more than half a stick. And I'm just gonna cook everything in there. And we're probably gonna have to add more when it comes time to make that roux. But in the meantime, we'll, uh, we'll just cook things and it'll be fine. We're gonna cook the onions, the onions. Okay, uh, another thing we gotta chop is some parsley. This is to give the, uh, the dish the illusion of being wholesome and homemade. I don't know, but, but have I, on the show, have I ever talked about how I had a friend back in the day who got into like a serious discussion about how his brother thought that parsley legitimately had no taste. Really, that's all I want to say is just that uh, there are some people in this world who think parsley does not have any taste. They're like flat earthers, but they're like non-parsley tasters. All right, here we are, one chicken titty supreme. This one is actually over one pound. There it is. All right, so you could you could cut this however you like, but I suggest cutting it in relatively small pieces because you don't want like a giant hunk of chicken in your pie, unless you're some kind of animal. It's not me. I'm dignified, refined even. All right, here's our onions. I'm gonna cook them on up. Okay, other things you will need. You're gonna need some cream, some flour, that is white, some chicken stock. Look at this, this is clearly homemade. You can tell by that natural yellow color. Yes, indeed, that is, uh, that's made from a previous time in which I roasted a whole chicken. Then I used the, the carcass to make the stock. And in fact, just to verify, uh, here on my fridge door, that right there, that's where it came from. It's my homemade chicken stock that's frozen. And I am definitely not not using the jarred shit that I heated up by pouring hot tap water on it. Here's the chicken chicken titty titty that you are gonna make for your chicken pee pee. You're gonna pop it in there. Oh, isn't that nice looking? Here's a spoiler, it's not nice looking. You can hit it with a seasoning, like salt, <laughs> primary seasoning, also pep. Also, I did not follow my own advice of not cutting the chicken big. These are pretty big, that's fine. Come and get a big chicken titty. Titty for your pee pee. This is a wholesome show, we gotta stop. We gotta stop. All right, we'll saute that up. Now you could add any kind of seasonings. You could go ham and use Italian seasoning. You could add some parsley. No, I got I got fresh parsley, what am I doing? Some people put a little thyme in, because that tastes nice. You could put in tarragon. Not everyone even knows what that is. I'm gonna butter, butter my pie pan. This is a nine inch pie pan, I think. Usually they say, yeah. And I don't know if this is necessary, but I feel like I will regret it if I don't do it. And the worst thing that could happen is that 
It'll be more buttery, but she was gonna complain about that, I don't know. Also, to optimally butter a pan, don't just hold it in the air like I am. You <laughs> could just set it down, you'd probably have an easier time. I don't know, how many times have we, uh, have we done an episode where I'm like, you know, just don't do what I'm doing. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get my, uh, my bottom crust. Which, gosh, those words don't sound good together, do they? Bottom crust. <laughs> Would you like to learn how to make pie crust on the show? Well, too bad, because you never will. <laughs> I'm not making that shit. Okay, you gotta be careful when rolling it out, because you might break it, such as I'm kind of doing now. You can see that in spots, this is sticking. It ain't that, ain't that a pain in the neck. This pie pan in particular has like the little flutes, so you can actually just press it into the sides with uh, minimal effort. And you know, there's one thing I like in addition to a good value, it's a minimal effort. See, that looks fine. And I apologize in advance to anyone who makes this legitimately or like as a pastry chef. Cause I feel like I'm honestly, I'm doing your, your craft a disservice. Uh, it's gonna be even worse when I seal the pie crust and just and mangle it, but uh, just uh, just you know, in advance of your protests, I know that I'm bad. You don't gotta tell me. <laughs> so chickies coming along. I think this might be vegetable time. And uh, there, here's our peas and carrots, also known as Ginny and Forests. Everyone will love that joke. There they are. You could add any vegetables you want, and, and in fact, I saw many kinds of vegetables. Uh, some people put potatoes in this. So that sounds a little excessive to me. I don't feel like you need it. You could put celery, green beans, corn. But I feel like this is the type of leftovers dish where it's just like, it's a bunch of, probably a bunch of bullshit from your freezer anyway. So like, why don't you just use whatever you got? I'm gonna add my parsley to give it a depth of green shit. Look at that, wow, it's gourmet now, wow. Okay, let's make our roux in another pan. You could probably do this in one pan, but I'm, I just, I'm worried about it. Here's another big old knob of butter, it's about a third of a cup. And to that, we will add some flour, about the same quality. I'm gonna start with a third of a cup, we'll see if we need more, but I don't know. But there it is, just gonna set it down until we need it. We're gonna turn this down to low heat, cause we're gonna, we're gonna dump our roux in there. And I already feel like maybe this is too much filling. Chicken and vegetables in butter. We'll be back. <laughs> okay, butter's melted. This is my flour. So I'm just throwing it on in there. And I'm gonna use my same spoon because I don't care. Mix it up. You can whisk if you want, it don't matter. And these uh, these little lumpy guys, I think it's gonna get real thick. Just like your mama. You don't gotta do it long. So here I got I got organic whipping cream. It's that good good, and you can tell it's it's real thick. The top of it was just complete it looked like butter. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get it out of there. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna start with one of these. I don't know how much that was, but starting with one of those, and you'll see very quickly that that roux kind of expands. If you're trying to, to, to be healthier, I would suggest using like milk. But I figure since I cut all the other corners on this, why uh why make it healthy? At least make it bad for you. Okay, and to that we're gonna add some, uh, some of our chicken stock. That natural, natural chicken stock. There it is. We're gonna start with like a cup, thereabouts. Okay, so I'm, uh, this is pretty lumpy. That's not what you want. And I would hit it with the whisk, but this is a non-stick pan. And I'm, just, I'm worried, man. But anyways, I'm gonna let that thicken up. It's gonna thicken up nicely. We'll probably add more liquid. And what I was trying to say earlier, I rudely interrupted myself. In the video game, Warhammer Vermintide 2, there's a character named Sienna Ferguson. It's probably Fuegason or something, I don't know. I don't know what her last name is, it's not important. She has a particular voice line when she gets like hit, and she wasn't expected to get hit, and it hurts, where she's like, I'll not have another one of those. Well, regarding that kombucha cocktail, I would like to say that I will have another one of those. <laughs> this has been me trying to be as little funny as possible. Is alcohol or stomach acid more likely to kill probiotics? All right, look at our, look at this gloppy jalopy already here. You can see just how quick this has become something entirely different. But I tell you what, basically what this is like a cream of chicken soup. And I bet you that historically, all your old ass grandmas and shit were probably just using that Campbell's. Okay, let's add a little more cream, a little more creaminess. So that's probably like a half pint, which is a cup. A little more chicken stock. 
And uh, you know, if this doesn't thicken up, which it will, if it doesn't thicken up, you can always add more, more flour. But I'm gonna let that cook down. I'm actually gonna turn the heat off in my other pan. I'm worried that I might be overcooking it. Look at that, I made it into small chicken pieces by hitting it repetitiously with a spoon. Man, chicken is really good. You guys like chicken? I've never had it before today. We'll be back in a bit, but I do wanna inform you that like when doing the sauce, the way we're doing it. It's gonna be really important if you're cooking it in this small of a pan like I am to move it around frequently because the uh, the thickness will build on the bottom of the pan and if you don't like keep mixing it up it'll burn which is not what you want. All right so it's pretty thick and we're gonna dump that on this good good. You know what else would be good on this is mushrooms. Too late now though. Okay here's our, uh, our pie mixture. I'll tell you what my gut says. It's too much mixture. That's okay that's totally fine. Some people say just dump the hot pie mixture in there and other people are like let it cool. So I wonder does it really matter? We're going in. Yeah you know, look at that it thickened up nicely. I think that's gonna be real good. Nice job, me. Yeah, what's the worst thing that could happen with overfilling this pie? So we played the dangerous game. We completely filled the pie. And if anything expands, we're probably f Well, let's close this bitch up, put it in the oven, pray for the best. Dear God, sorry about this pie. Talk to you soon. Okay, so what I should have done before doing that was to wet the bottom. Wet bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna wet my hands and I'm, oh no, oh no. Oh, shitty f I'm gonna spread it, put it back over the pie, and I'm gonna I'm gonna seal it by by crimping it. And you could use a fork or literally anything. This is not how you do pies, but it's how I'm doing pies. Please forgive me, folks at home. Don't don't. I don't know. You guys asked me to make a pie. You knew it wouldn't go good. Okay, we gotta. I gotta. I'm gonna seal it, but I'm gonna slash it first. We're gonna put one of these and one of these. And that's gonna let the steam escape, apparently. What if I, uh, what if I did some more? That's nice and geometric, right? That's why I'm a maverick, okay? So I'm sealing up that crust. I feel like this is just gonna get more and more demented the more I f with it. Sealing her up. I don't know what's going on with this top, this top pie. This top pie crust. It's like, maybe it's more thought, I guess. What I'm doing is pressing it into the pie to make some kind of rhyme or reason of this. You can feel that it's hot. Oh, I can. You can't feel it. Okay, so it doesn't look the best, you know, but... That looks like a pie I would make, and it is. It is a pie that I made. So that's gonna go into the oven, on that top rack. And I'm sure it's gonna glurble and burble the whole f***ing time. We're at 400 degrees. We're gonna check it in half an hour. And I think by that time, oh, uh, by that time, it's gonna be uh, probably golden brown, and we'll probably have to put foil over the top in order to not let it burn. Okay, mm -hmm. so we'll be back. Oh. I like to take a moment to recite one of my favorite Carl Sagan quotes, which is, if you want to make a chicken pee pee from scratch, you must first invent the universe. Here we are one half hour into the pie making. And I'm just gonna say that looks pretty f***ing good. You can hear it bubbling. And I, at this point, I kind of think that we're in that end game where like, is it good, is it not? I don't know. I'm just gonna throw a little foil on it. Oh no, I'm not. There's air circulating. Never mind. Let's just let it go five more minutes and call it a day. Because f it. I think that it's gonna be pretty good though. Remember when the internet really liked Carl Sagan? And now it's just like Bob Ross and Steve Irwin, Mr. Rogers. But Carl Sagan, like I think the old people got old. And Carl Sagan is dead like most of those other guys, but millions and billions of stars. Maybe, what if, what if, what if Bernie Sanders is secretly Carl Sagan? And he's like, instead of like uh, millions and billions of stars, he's like millionaires and billionaires of stars. What we need is a universal evolution. What do you guys think of that, uh, that, uh, oh, oh, uh, Alexandria, oh, 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 Ocasio, Ocasio Cortez, Orca, or AOC. What do you guys think of AOC? Productively comment in the video below. Would AOC eat chicken pee pee? Maybe tweet at her. She's young. <laughs> Maybe she'll respond. Okay, here it is. It's a pie. We're gonna carefully remove it from the oven, and there it is. And it looks pretty good. Look at that. We had. One spillage. You gotta let this cool at least 10 minutes. I think it's gonna be good, guys. We'll be back. 10 minutes. All right, it's the moment of truth. Cutting into that pie. Oh, it feels wet. Down the bed. Shut the f up. Oh, man, that's pretty wet. I'm worried, guys. I'm worried this pie might be bad. Okay, here it is. 
It's pretty wet, but I think it'll be delicious. And here's why folks at home, because maybe it was the friends we made along the way. And does that look like a pie to you at all? No, no it doesn't. But you know what? This is exactly the type of pie I'm expected to make. And there it is. It looks like garbage. Okay, well it looks like a soup pie, and that's all right. It tastes delicious. I feel like if it was like this much thicker, like it just needs a few clicks more of viscosity. But man, if we had just put these like in little ramekins, which I don't own, then you wouldn't even know what garbage it looks like. But it tastes great. It tastes like chicken. It tastes like cream. It tastes like pie. Those are the primary flavors. Dude, I'm not even, I'm not even mad. Like, is it gloppy? Does it look bad? I mean, yeah, but like it tastes great. I'm gonna eat a shitload of this. Maybe put some hot sauce on it. You know how I do. I don't know if that is how you do it, but that's how we did it and the friends we made along the way. All right guys, well, maybe make it thicker. Maybe not. It's pretty good how it is. There you go, Zyorg, Zoid, Zoidberg, whatever the your name is, and everyone else. God bless you and your family. Tune in next week for a different episode. We might make something good. We might not. Maybe we'll just, you know, I guess we'll find out.